Hi, I'm artist Andrea Kirk, the Art Chick. Today I'm going to show you how I begin drawing my human figures in preparation for an oil painting. Can you believe that the figure shown here in my painting began as a simple stick figure? In this video I will show the steps I follow to draw and shade proportional figures before the painting process. All you need for this project is a brown Prismacolor pencil, a canvas, and an art gum eraser. First I'm going to start with the shoulders. Because my figure is turned slightly, I need to draw a line on an angle. Next I will add a vertical line for the neck and then shape the head in a downward position. From there I will draw another line sloping down to connect the neck with the shoulder and then round the face. Next, draw a vertical line for the torso, then add a diagonal line from the left shoulder down. Add another slightly slanted line from the right shoulder down. Then add an oval for the waist. Now draw two circles for the shoulders. For the arms, add a line and then a circle for the elbow and then another line and a circle for the wrist. Repeat the same process for the legs, only this time make the lines a little bit longer. Next, just add small lines for the feet. Okay, now I'm going to define my figure by adding the fine details and features. Follow along and watch carefully as my figure transforms into a realistic drawing of a person. This figure is a young girl. Notice how I'm gently drawing the contour of her profile and adding the small delicate features of her face. Now I'm adding the outline of the hair. Notice how the top of the ear aligns with her eyebrow and the bottom with the middle of her cheek. Now I'm going to erase some of the structural lines we started with. As I begin filling in her arms and back, notice the contour of the muscles I'm rendering along the way. Proper anatomy is very crucial if you want your figure to appear lifelike. I took an entire course on figure drawing in college to help me better understand human anatomy. It was probably the best thing I ever did to improve my art. I strongly encourage any of you watching this video to also further your studies with figure drawing. Be sure to pay close attention to the details such as the folds in the clothing and also any other accessories.
Again, having knowledge of human bone and muscle structure is a great benefit when drawing your figures. Watch the detail in rendering I use in the legs. If you think I ever draw human figures without ever erasing, you are completely wrong. I erase a lot. It's nearly impossible to get it right the first time, so I just keep trying and trying. Now it's time for the hands. Hands can be extremely difficult, which is why I did an entire video on hands. I highly recommend that you watch that video along with both of my figure drawing videos so that you can better understand the process of each. While the right hand is grasping, the left is more relaxed, showing both the palm and the fingers. For now, I'm just drawing the contour shape, and we'll come back to the final details. Once you've completely established the full form of your figure, you can add all the additional details and then the shading. This process is intriguing. See if you can follow along with me. As you begin shading, pay very close attention to your reference photo. Establish what direction your main light source is shining from and where your shadows are casting. Notice how my shadows better define the muscle contour of my figure.
Be sure to shade each of the folds in the swimsuit for added detail. It's also important to shade the darker areas of the hair. This will emphasize the bright highlights when you begin painting. Spending the time to draw a proportional figure, as well as adding all of the detail, shading, and rendering will truly benefit you as you begin the painting process. Not only will the process be easier, but you will be very pleased with the end result as your figure will become more realistic. With the same steps you just observed with my drawing of a young girl, watch the same process as I draw a figure of a baby. Once both figures are drawn, I add their casting shadows as well as the contour of the surrounding landscape.
And now I have a beautiful rendering ready for transformation as I begin my oil painting. Which, by the way, will be revealed in a future video. That's all for today, my friends. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.